What's up, TGN? This is Daniel, or Flailed, and I have a commentary for you today. This is going to be a Black Ops gameplay, probably hardcore domination uh, with the Galil. If you're seeing that, then that's what it is. Because most people don't really post this, so I decided I'd post it because I'm really the only one that plays it, and I, get, I think I get two dogs. And... So let's get on to the main topic today. Main topic today is which is the best Call of Duty game? I've seen plenty of videos on this, and they usually just compare Modern Warfare 2 and or, yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops. But, I'm going to compare Call of Duty 4 and Mortal War as well today. So, first of all, the maps. On Call of Duty 4, they're pretty good original maps, and they're balanced on both sides. Like, unlike a lot of new maps today, they aren't really balanced for both sides. But, I like Call of Duty 4 maps. I'm going to give it a an 8 out of 10. Okay. All, every time I rate something, it's going to be out of 10. So, if I just say 8 or 7 or whatever, then it's going to be out of 10. Uh, World of War. World of War, I love the new maps. Like, they had pretty original maps, and they were huge, and they brought in a new game mode called War. So that really, that did it for me. That's probably my favorite game mode of all time. Of all time. <laughs> and, yeah, so that's that's how I think about World of War. I think I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, because they had really, they had big maps, they had balanced maps. It was just perfect. Uh, next one, Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2, all the maps were just kind of, like, they were amazing in their graphic quality, but they weren't really balanced. A lot of them were balanced for one side, and the team would make sure they get one side, and I don't know. You could, just, you could also noob tube across the map, which didn't really help the maps at all. So I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10 for Modern Warfare 2. And then Black Ops, they're still not really balanced from each side. Cause I play, I've played competitive for a while, and yeah, I really agree, I don't agree with some of the maps and how they're laid out. Especially Villa, that is, oh, that is the most one-sided map ever, and it's just horrible. But anyway, <laughs> little rant there. Uh, Black Ops, the graphics, they're not that great. Like they're really good, they have a lot of detail, but they're kind of just dull. I, I agree with everyone else, they're kind of dull. So I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10, because they're not as bad as one more for two maps, uh, like, one-sided-wise, but they're still pretty bad. Okay, the next one, Call of Duty 4, for guns. Guns in Call of Duty 4, there, weren't, there wasn't a lot of originality in the guns, they are kind of just like, there were like five in each class, and they are kind of bleh. So I'm going to give those a 6 out of 10. War to War, they were even more bleh, but I really like the Thompson and the MP40. Even though they're both overpowered, I, I really liked them. Because, I don't know, it's just how I like it. Or bleh, bleh, bleh. I always use submachine guns, so that's what I like. Uh, Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 made a great addition to guns. Like, a lot, most of the assault rifles were really overpowered, and snipers were super overpowered, and they really didn't need to be. I don't know, I just, like, the guns in Modern Warfare 2 are great, but a lot of them are overpowered, and some of them are just horrible, so you can't even use them. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, for guns, I like the originality, and a lot of them are balanced. Sure, there's the FAMAS and the AUG and the AK-74U, and they're all really, really strong. But if you, besides that, um, the assault rifles are, like, they're overpowered compared to the submachine guns, but the submachine guns can definitely beat out anything at close range, and that's how it should be. Uh, sniping, I think they got it right. I think Treyarch got it right for guns and Black Ops, and that's it's just perfect. You can kill... Blah, blah, blah. You can still quickscope a little bit, and that's what I like. And if you don't believe you can quickscope, then go to my channel and look at <laughs> my quickscoping, because I have a couple videos, and they're pretty good sniping streaks, and it shows that snipers are usable if you actually have skill and not just dumb Modern Warfare 2 quickscoping. Uh, next thing, uh, graphics. Sorry if the chair just, like, farted. My chair is, like, it squeaks a lot. But graphics for Call of Duty 4, they're pretty good. They're a lot better than Call of Duty 3. It's a big upgrade. For, so for their time, I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. War, War, they had some great graphics for the maps and stuff. So I'm going to give that 7 out of 10 as well. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, they brought in a lot of new stuff, so they really had to upgrade their graphics and... It, it works pretty well, so I'm going to give them, them an 8 or 9 out of 10. And then, Call of Duty Black Ops, they, like, they're like they pretty good graphics, 
but they're kind of dull. But so I'm just gonna give them an eight. Uh, connection. Call of Duty 4 connection. It's pretty good until you host migrate, and then it completely ends the game. So I'm just gonna give that like a four out of ten because that. I mean, first time is okay, but just no. Uh, World of War. Okay, so they're pretty good. Oh my gosh, that was horrible fail. That was pathetic. Okay. <laughs> Don't watch anymore if you just saw that. Okay. So, Connection War War is same thing as Call of Duty 4 for Natch. I don't remember if they had connection problems for, like, host migration and stuff, but I don't know. I'm just going to give it a 5 out of 10. Final Warfare 2 has good connection, but the host migrations are terrible. It never picks the right host. It's just... I don't know. I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. And then Black Ops... I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 because it's pretty good connection and it usually picks the right host. And the, the only problem really is matchmaking, which that you can get over that easily. Like, I get into plenty of lobbies with my connection and I don't really live near anyone because I live in Indiana. So, okay, new things. And this is the last topic. Uh, new things, Call of Duty 4. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 because it brought in a lot of new things. It brought in kill streaks and everything like that and a bunch of, like, new guns instead of just set classes and perks and stuff. And World at War, it really didn't bring much new compared to Call of Duty 4. Or, yeah, World at War didn't, uh, give, didn't give very many new things compared to Call of Duty 4. So I'll give that a 4 out of 10. Yeah. And Modern Warfare 2, I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10 because they had a lot of new things. They brought in a lot of new ideas and stuff. So, sure, some of them were horrible, but still give them a 10 out of 10. And then, final one, Black Ops. Uh, I'll just give it a 9 out of 10 because time's running out. And they, they brought COD points and stuff, so those were pretty cool. And some new kill streaks. And overall, I'll give Call of Duty 4 a 7 out of 10. World at War, 6 out of 10. Modern Warfare 2, a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. And I'll give Black Ops an 8 out of 10. So I really hope that Modern Warfare 3 gets a 10 out of 10 because I see a lot of new things coming. So. Thanks for watching, and think about these, and have a good day, and comment in the section below. Go check out my channel in the description, and bye.